first chapter and second and probably the third verse. We'll read that real quick. All of y'all should know it. It took you that long to get to Genesis 1. Something's wrong with you. Something's really wrong with you. Genesis, the first book and the first chapter. Something's wrong with you. You can't find that. And if your Bible don't have Genesis 1, you really need a new Bible. Say so. Let me read this to you real quick. First chapter, second verse says, And the earth was without form, and void, and darkness. Somebody say darkness. darkness. We're going to be dealing with this word darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Verse 3 says this, And God said, what? Let, Let there be light. Let there be light, and there was light. Turn your Bibles again. Turn your Bibles to this book right here. Second Corinthians. Fourth chapter. I'm there. I'm there. Quite a few this time. Read fourth chapter. I'm going to read one through seven. And I'm going to read it kind of fast. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world, little g, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the mind of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is in who is the image of God, should shine in them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servant for Jesus' sake. Verse 6, watch this. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Stop right there. Ephesians, fourth chapter, seventeenth verse. Go. Ephesians, fourth chapter, seventeenth verse. Go. Go. There. Watch this. 17th verse. This I say therefore and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their minds having their understandings darkened being alienated from the life of God through, through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their hearts. <clears throat> Who being past feelings have given themselves over to lavishness. To work all uncleanliness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ ye don't know him. If so be that ye have heard him. And have been taught by him. As the truth is in Jesus Christ. 
that he put off concerning the former conversations of the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Hold on, watch this. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, we glorify you, we honor you, O oh God, and I ask you today to speak to the heart of your believers through this message, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, touch your man, servant, as the, he begins to teach this word to these your people, that they will see themselves and correct the issue, the problem, the situation in themselves. Father, let them know, O oh God, that before they can calm the storm on the outside of them, that they got to calm the storm that's on the inside of them. God, let them know that they got to clean themselves up before they can clean anybody else up, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you now. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. God is a God of repetition. God will <laughs> do things in repetition, but in different manifestations. God will show you some things in a carnal way and then show you the same thing that he showed you in a carnal way to show you in a spiritual way. Uh -huh. Because he's the same God today and forevermore. So just like God needed sacrifices back then uh -huh. when he was allowing the cattle, lamb, to be sacrificed for satisfaction. Yeah. He used Jesus Christ as a lamb uh -huh. to satisfy him for your sin. Yeah. This is the kind of God we serve. So in the beginning of the world, in the beginning of creation, yeah. God saw nothing. He saw absolutely no. nothing. Okay. The Bible says that darkness was on the face of the deep. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and saw that there was something wrong with darkness. Yeah. And said that I have to change what I see. Yeah. Now when you say, well, Pastor, why do you even go there? Because there's something very deceptive about darkness. Yeah. If you turn on the lights off in the room, you don't see nothing, but the truth is you don't know what is actually in the room. Yeah. Am I making any sense to anybody? Yeah. yeah. So therefore, in order to find the truth, there cannot be any darkness. I hope I'm teaching somebody. Guess what? If anybody sit behind that keyboard that don't know how to play, mm -hmm. their mind is dark. They are behind the keyboard with a dark mind. They don't know what button to touch, uh -huh. what key to hit. And no matter how you get over there, let me borrow your keyboard for a second. You ain't got to get a button. It's going to sound like this. Because guess what? I can't see. Because my mind is black. Uh -huh. When it comes to the keyboard. Now watch this. He can't see for real. But when you put him in front of any keyboard. Yeah. There's a light that shines. And guess what? It sounds like this.
That's a good thing. <laughs> Embarrass me like that. <laughs>